Man, it's cold! Why did I pick this area to stop? I gotta warm up. Uh, why does there have to be an ice area? We could do it without the Canada. Seriously. Welcome back to Mother 3. Right now, we are freezing our buns off because the mole crickets decided to dig a hole to a mountain. I don't remember going up particularly often, but here we are. We're on a mountain now. And we're looking for a needle. Have you seen a needle, Mr. Snowman? I'm surprised, too. I think I got punked by the mole crickets. I don't think there's a needle here at all. Plenty of yetis, though! The Ten Yeti! I guess they were going to try and go for a Hang Ten Yeti, but I guess the characters didn't fit when they translated. Instead, they got Ten Yeti. Ten tons of yeti! And also, there's a plank of wood. That's a rare thing you could get with fire abilities. You could actually burn the enemies! And then kill them dead. Like that. That's how you kill a yeti! Be overpowered. That's the rule of the day. No, Wolf, you can't have this double jerky! Stop it! It's a chilly dog! Because this is a snow area? Fire definitely could be used on these guys. And they have a powerful freeze beta attack, too. Actually, it's not powerful in the least, I lied. Yeah, the dogfish did more damage with a uh, freeze beta than that guy did. I might as well keep people in their top condition by using Life Up Alpha. I haven't had to heal up in a while. In fact, I haven't gotten to a lot of battles in a while. Yeah, I mean, we had the squeaks in a mole cricket last video. That's about it. Unfortunately, I can't knock away these yetis, and they like skiing on those slopes. It's their thing. See that guy? He's not having fun. Oh, Lydia lives here. The snowmen love Lydia. I don't think Lydia loves the snow, though. I bet she's freezing. And that was a cancer bracelet. We're gonna just go ahead and equip that on Kumatora. And also give her her dress back, too. Yeah, rubber capes don't help when you're freezing to death. Chili dog? I didn't see a chili dog. No! What does this look like, a ballpark? No chili dogs here, sorry. We're gonna have to go one street over. Oh, this is Snow Cap Mountain. Well, it's a good name for it, because... It is capped with snow, and I am cold! I don't care if Lydia made you. I need to find someplace warm. Like, uh, like Item Hobo. Yeah, I have something for you. Doria gave me this, and you can have it now. Also, I need to spread around some items, too. Yeah, that's great. Hobo gods and all that. That's, that's fantastic. Alright. Secret herb, go to Boney. Also... Oh, I have Aeol Aeolius Memento here, too, yet. Hey! Why didn't you take this? Why didn't I give it to you? Answer the second question before the first. Alright, there. Two mementos now. Don't use the... Don't use that makeup, though. It'll turn you into a Magipsy, and... I don't want to item Magipsy. That? That could just go. Yeah. Take that, Salsa. You and your... thing. I really gotta find another pig mask and show them the trivia card. See if they can get the question right. So we could actually figure out what the question was to begin with. Hey, there's a frog, too. Ah, well, it's a good thing this snowman got to meet us before he melted away. As in never, because it's too darn cold! I'm gonna drive that point home. That's definitely another mole cricket. You really gotta pick up your feet, man. I could hear you a mile away. Hi, mole cricket! That's not the mole cricket from earlier. He's studying! He's an exchange mole cricket. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Oh, he picked up all sorts of stuff. Just like the moles, he's going to use them to conduct business. As in, he's a shop! Now we can get some new items. Sincerity dumplings on every mole cricket. We also could get some anti-ice items. We're not going to be here long enough to do so, though. We could buy some bantam charms and finally get rid of these low defense items we've had forever. 
See this? I'm wearing DCMC stuff yet. That's ridiculous. And also, Boney is wearing a cow hat. He hates cows. Bears are better. And also, we need a white ribbon for Kumatora. That Azure ribbon is so gaudy. And plain. And Cancer Bracelets, but we got one for free. You don't have the money for one anyway. Alright! It's a good thing we have you around to sell us stuff. And it's a good thing we have this hot spring around, too. Ah, that haiku works. That's good. Oh, wait. I, I just realized. When I get out of this hot spring, I'm going to be so very cold. Uh, I didn't think this through carefully. Lydia, help me. Make, make the mountain not cold. Please? I see you over there. Oh, you're gonna make me suffer, aren't you? I hate you, Lydia. You and, you and your bunnies. Which all happen to be albino for some reason. Alright, we're just gonna approach them slowly. I don't want to startle the albino bunnies. Man, talk about skittish. I tried to be careful, I really did. Well, that's what you get for making me suffer in a hot spring. I wonder why! We live on top of a mountain. It's cold. You have a hot spring out there to entice people. And they make bad decisions. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Ah, it's a good thing these Majipsies have some central heating. What the heck is he doing here? Hey, buddy! Yeah, you're on the wrong side. Go back to the pork hotels. Oh. Lydia was doing a little bit of mountain rescuing. Oh. I kind of feel bad for him. You know what? Pig masks as a group? I kind of hate them. Pig masks singular? I don't think they're that bad. They're just following orders, after all. Even if they are all captains. Hey. Ioni is really getting around here. She turned into a letter and mailed herself to Lydia. Told her all about what's going on. I'm here to pull her needle. Oh, well, luckily, Lydia keeps her needle close by. It is time. One would probably say it's the time. Is that what you usually talk about? Yes, we've heard this two times before already. Yeah, there it is. There's the the time again. Oh, but Lydia has a little bit of regrets. Who's gonna take care of the bunnies? Oh, the albino bunnies will have no one to look after them. They'll die in the cold. And also this guy. He'll have to die in the cold too. Oh well, sucks to be them. You're gonna vanish. Alright, point us towards that needle. Well, yeah, it does suck. I agree with you there. But it has to happen. You have unlimited cosmic power. You can't live forever. It is time. It's time for you to go and unlock that door. Time to go out the love closet and pull the needle. Alright. See you later, Lydia. Huh? Oh, great. The pig masks are blasting their music again. How did they get tipped off that the needle was here? That the mole crickets did it. They trapped the mole cricket in the corner and poked him with a stick, and he was like, Alright, I'll tell you everything! Okay, you you could stop trying to become evil. Yes, yeah, stay neutral. Stay neutral. Stop making oink noises. You're in normal people houses. I hope we're not too late. Crap! We're too late! I had to climb a mountain and talk to Olivia. They just flew in with their boombox and such. And now they're exploding. Great. Now we're two, we're a needle behind again. It's two on one. This isn't fair. The bad guys aren't playing fair. I don't like when bad guys don't play fair. I like it when they have an evil monologue and then let me live for stupid reasons. Alright, we get it. Someone pulled the needle and it wasn't us. Way to rub it in, game. That flash of light seemed a little late. What'd you think? 
should have happened right when the screen flashed, not a few seconds before. Hey! It's that masked man from before! The guy who took over Facade's role. He could pull the needles? Hey, buddy, what's your deal? How did you beat Lama Lana? What do you think about Hell Temple? Do you think it sucked? Do you think Lameza deserved that bikini? Why do you look familiar? I can't see most of your face because of that helmet, but... It seems like someone we know. No, not the Mechorilla, I'm talking about the Masked Man. With the jetpack! I want a jetpack! Oh, these guys, they're not fair. Ah, uh, you left your monkey here. Hey! Uh, I guess we're gonna have to break it. It's the Steel Mechorilla! This guy is fairly tough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit him with Flash right off the bat. And lower his offense as much as I can. This guy is relatively weak against Thunder and being blinded. And even though he's mechanical, the saltwater guns don't do a whole lot on him. I don't know why I keep those around. Alright. First shot, I made him cry. Other times I've done this, it wasn't fun trying to make this guy cry. It's like he knows no remorse. Might as well put up a shield while we're at it. I mean, he'll miss us half the time now, but he still hurts when he does. Also, we gotta do something about his defense, too. I wanna do damage to this guy! Hang the consequences! The Steel Mechorilla is, as you can tell, a mostly physical entity. He likes using those big boxing gloves he has that are made out of steel and pain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw Lama Lana at him until he submits. And also, Boney's gonna bite him. That's all he can do. Oh, I could throw the Super Bomb at him, too. That's not a bad idea, either. I've been keeping it for a reason. Mostly, he has powerful kicks. He also has... a combo attack. Several other things, too. You know what, You go on heal duty for a little bit while I throw this Super Bomb. I'm keeping around that friend's yo-yo for a specific reason. I don't know what it is just yet. I just have a feeling I should keep that around. No, not Lucas's offense. Well, it doesn't matter. He's going to be mostly using psychic powers this, this battle anyway. So, I'm just going to explode you. This battle is already over. You're crying. You're crying and you're dying. He's crying because I keep on exposing him to tougher puzzles of La Milana. Alright, this guy should be going into his second phase soon. It doesn't take much to throw him into his second phase. It's about 75 to 50% of his HP. Fortunately, we're not there just yet. You know what? Everybody gets an offense up. Maybe I should defense up too. Those shields aren't going to last forever. It's kind of lame when the, the enemy that you are fighting doesn't have a lot of interesting abilities to talk about. This guy likes punching us. That's all he can do. And now he's a little bit more dangerous. When he short circuits, all he does is use Berserk. Which hits everybody in the party, if it hits at all. It's a good thing we got that defense up on hand. And plenty of thunder. Thunder for everybody. Also here, have some defense. We are fighting a monkey, he is going to kill us. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. I like having sacred herbs. As you can see, he's not exactly threatening now, since he's blinded. But it's like a it's like a 50% chance of blinding him with flash though. And we don't have Dust Star Ring, which has a dedicated blind. So this could actually become problematic in a hurry, if you don't get lucky. Oh no, Bony Shield! I wish I had a life up Omega, but I do not. Instead, more thunder for you! He, sh he looks like he wants to go down. I can't tell because of his sprite, but I sense it. I sense his explosion. Alright, he just became tame instead. We have our own mechanical monkey! Yay! He's way better than Salsa. He can do tricks. Tricks like punching someone in the face. 
And then he kills them. And then I have to answer for it. To the Tasmili Sheriff. Or the Mountain Sheriff. Alright. You're gone. And so is the Needle. And so is that mysterious masked man. Well, he was standing right in front of the Needle, and he, he had that look on his face like, Ha ha ha, I pulled the Needle before you, you're lame. And then he flew off with his jetpack. Uh, I have a feeling that Lydia is not alright at all. And neither is that snowman. Nothing's alright about this situation. Lydia! Are you okay? No. No, you are not. You are vanishing. Sorry, I didn't pull the needle. I wish I did. But I couldn't. I didn't have a jetpack. Lydia, do you have a jetpack? Give me a jetpack instead of a memento. That would be great. No! Crap, Sherlock! I can't say the other word. I'm not allowed to cuss. Crap is not a cuss. Crap is a pseudo-cuss. Yeah. Lydia knows his math. Every single needle has to be pulled by us now, or we are going to lose this contest. And also the world. Alright, time for Lydia's memento now. I'm going to try and collect all these mementos if I can. Hopefully I keep the forethought in mind to keep that inventory space open, because all of these mementos, they will vanish. Along with Lydia. Alright, see you later. I was kind of looking forward to having La Milana Gamma, but I guess the game ain't going to give us powers that quickly. A white box on top of this mountain. What are these words you're speaking? Alright, bye Lydia. Oh, wait. Darn it, they didn't leave me a clue to the next needle again. <sighs> well, who is the next Magipsy? You didn't tell me that. This is why the pig masks are winning. They have better information sources than me. Oh, hey. This guy's not wearing his helmet. He kind of looks like Butch. Are you, are you a Butch? He doesn't sound like Butch. Huh. Alright, this guy's truly neutral for now. He's gonna just repay Lydia and take care of the bunnies. Alright. Well, all the problems are solved. The pig mask is healthy enough to take care of himself and uh, the bunnies, they have a new owner who is just rather pig-like. Oh well. We finally got to see what a pig mask soldier looks like and they really do look like pigs a little bit. They're rather chubby, and they have that pushed-up nose. Alright, nothing to do on this mountain. It kind of sucks now. It's now Pig Mask Mountain. I wonder where this white box is. Hey, this sounds familiar! Yeah! Yeah, it's the Skyrunner theme! And look, we kind of look like we did in, uh, in Lost Underworld on Earthbound. There's just Earthbound references all over the place. We really haven't seen anything that relates to the story that would merit a sequel. Well, maybe it's kind of Final Fantasy. White Box away! What is the White Box, anyway? Why can't we use a sled? Or, you know, a flying UFO to fit the theme? That looks like a refrigerator. I, I just could tell from this distance. It is a fridge! We just pulled off an uh, Indiana Jones stunt. How did we survive that? Luckily there was no nuclear explosion this time. Hey. That's a weird looking bottle. Hey, bottle, what are you doing here in the cemetery? Oh, a letter. Sure, let's read it. Nothing better to do. This way. Who opened that? Who writes in this weird text? Well, here we are. Back in the underground section. Remember this place? We came through here as Salsa, and we also took a little visit when we were on the pork bean before. Apparently, it's become relevant once again. Alright. Next time on Mother 3, we're going to take a look around this familiar area. Maybe something new will open up. 
I, I, I highly doubt it, though. I'm probably just going around in circles. Good night, folks. <laughs>